Hey guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Git T. So the end result is going to look like this. It is basically a GitHub that you're self-hosting um, or a GitLab. And it is very similar to Forge Joe. And before I go into the comparisons between both, let's go ahead and deploy it. And then I'll give you my thoughts on both and which one you should use. So let's get started. Let's go into Coolify and add a new project. Call it Git T. Just, just Git T is fine. Select the environment. There's the production environment by default. Select add a new resource. And search for Git T. Don't put two T's, just Git EA. And uh, then we've got four selections. I'm going to go with the one with MariaDB. Select your server. And we are basically done. I'm going to shorten the service name and do the same thing with the domain name. And hit save. So now we have a shortened domain name and shortened service name. Let's go ahead and hit deploy. So now that the container has started, I'm going to close this window and wait until this says healthy. And once that's healthy, we'll visit the URL. And so now the service says healthy. Let's open it up in a new URL. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, open the administrator account settings and enter in a user, a username and password and an email as well. This is the username that you're going to use when you are pulling and pushing. So if you're using HTTPS, so make sure that you save this somewhere. So once you're ready, hit install. So we're almost done for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add a new repository and push to it as well. So similar to on GitHub or GitLab, we're going to create a repository. I'm going to call it server dashboard because this is a project that I have locally that I'm going to push to it. So I'm going to hit create repository. And now I need to grab this URL here, which is the URL of my origin. So I'm going to run git remote uh, set URL origin because we're going to change the URL of the origin remote. And we're going to change it to this URL. And now we are ready to push. So I'm going to copy this push command and run it here. And so now it's going to ask us for our credentials that we entered in earlier. And there we go. We've now pushed to our Git app. Let's refresh. And as you can see, it worked correctly. There's also an actions uh, tab here. So you could add a workflow similar to on GitHub or on GitLab. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So now let me give you my thoughts on Forge Joe versus Git T. If you watch my Forge Joe video, you would know that the setup was identical. And that's because Git T was the original project that Forge Joe then forked off of. And so why did they do this? So and so why did Forge Joe fork outside of Git T? And that's because apparently in their own words, Git T became a for profit company. Let me just show you here. So they became a for profit company in 2022. And since then, Forge Joe was created. So this is probably the big kicker for me that would make me choose Forge Joe instead, coupled with the fact that Forge Joe uses their, their own service to test themselves, whereas Git T is using GitHub. This shows to me that the project is all in on itself. There's a lot of other reasons that you can uh, check out on the Forge Joe website itself at this particular URL. Just search Forge Joe compared to Git T and you'll find this uh, blog post. So yeah, I think if I were to choose between Forge Joe and Git T, it's a no brainer. I would go with Forge Joe. But anyways, for the scope of this video, we've uh, used the Git T service, we've deployed it successfully and deployed a project to our Git T instance. So I'm satisfied with that. And uh, with that, I will see you in the next video.